One of the most enjoyable and welcome things that arrived in my dressing room in the last couple of weeks has been this CD, The Adventures of Smokey Dawson. When you talk about people who are loved in the field of show business in Australia, you've got to include my next two guests, Smokey Dawson and his lovely wife Dot, and we welcome them to GMA. <laughs> morning Dot, morning Smokey. Hi. <laughs> This is just terrific. The memories flood back with a wonderful introduction by Bud Tingwell, who of course appeared in the radio serial with you. And it must be nice for you two to have this generally available now. It's, uh, it's been quite a, uh, an adventure in itself, getting it together. And uh, if it wasn't for my good pal Jason Ford, from our radio station in Sydney there, we wouldn't have got it done. But he said one day, he said, yeah, where are some of those old records of yours? I said, well, they must be on the scrap heap somewhere. But we found some through the archives, and we got them all cleaned up. And there we are, we have something now that is absolutely something to come back to remind people of those wonderful old days, the golden years of radio. They certainly were golden years, thanks to people uh, like yourself. We all felt very close to Smokey Dawson, still do. But someone who's been very close to Smokey for a long time is you, Dot. And an anniversary was celebrated just recently? Yes, it was this month. How many years? Uh, 56, love. 56 <laughs> years! <laughs> he was counting you would. Dot, of course, let me tell you, in her own right, was a wonderful radio <laughs> star as June at, uh, at 3KZ, the brighter broadcasting service. She was a wonderful children's personality and general personality and a top sort, too, which she still is, by the way. That is her on the right there. With your younger sister, is it Dot? Would that yes, be it? Yeah. Yes, what, what's her name? That's Jean. She's in England now. Oh, right. OK, so we can say anything we want to, can't we? Because she's <laughs> so far away. Smokey, um, a lot of success in America for yourself, too. Actually, you... You came back to Australia from America as the result of the radio series, am I right? In, in That's right, that? yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, I had a bit of a, a, bit of a lift out uh, up there after a pretty hard time, you know. I joined up with a cup radio organisation way back in '50 with Hank Williams. Mm -hmm. That's a long way back. And then I got this letter uh, from J. Walter Thompson. Come home, we want you home. And I thought, oh, well, I'll take me time now, because they didn't want to know me when I was going away. Yeah. And uh, I got into New York there and I happened to have a kangaroo and got out of the car and I got front cover of the New York Times. Mm. And uh, so 20th Century Fox signed me up and, and from there on we were coming back to Australia in triumph and I'll never forget the day we landed a mascot. It was like, uh, well, the Beatles followed the same situation. I've just seen footage of same, and it, it was an extraordinary... And I remember seeing that on the newsreels back at that time. In your radio uh, series, uh, Bud Tingle, as I say, does a wonderful introduction yeah. uh, on, the, on the CD, but there are wonderful performers like the late Ray, uh, Ray Hartley, who oh, specialised yeah. in, in playing Little Boy. And wasn't he a wonderful actor, Ray, Ray oh, Hartley? Oh, yes, and we're so sad. He just didn't live uh, so far from us, you know, and uh, I was going to ring him up and come in, come in on our show, but... Uh, he died, unfortunately, in dreadful pain, too. Oh. He, uh, it, it's, they're all gone. Ken Wayne, who played Grogan. Yes. I chased him for about five years, I think. That's right. <laughs> took a while to get him. Yes. And John Mannion, of course, also took oh, part John Mannion, in yeah. Lost the oh, So we've got some footage here in which you'll see John. He was a, a baddie. So many of the leading actors of the, uh, of the day played baddies with, uh, with Smokey. And I think there's a very interesting piece here, how you eventually get the baddie. A cowboy in Australia back in those years. <laughs> you, you ba there's John. There's the late John. There he is. <laughs> I'm lucky enough to be working with June Salter, and of course he was, uh, she was uh, John's wife, and sure. the most delightful lady. And of course, what a fabulous actor she is, and indeed the wonderful. late John. Too. Absolutely. She's still working, isn't she? <clears throat> yes, yeah, she's in the Sound of Music, and she's just <laughs> wonderful. Now this is. <laughs> he gun your tires. Yeah. What are they going to do without these gun laws now? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you use the old lasso to the old whip. Oh <laughs> yeah, the whip. As it were. That's weird. Fly the other one. Yeah, oh, there's Johnny. <laughs> now, of course, as I say, you were the only cowboy that we knew of here in Australia, so it was something quite unique, wasn't it? Yes, uh, I was the replacement for Hoppin' on Cassidy, I think. <laughs> yeah. Now all the cowboys are dead and gone there except me. Do your theme song for us, Smokey. I'm oh, sure, yeah. This is called Ride. <laughs> <laughs> you can sing it along with me if you like. I'll have a listen. Riding, riding. Underneath the southern sky, I'm a riding, always riding. Happy on the trail am I. I'm riding, riding in the land where I belong. I'm a riding, I'm always riding. 
with a smile and a song. Yeah. <laughs> you gave me one of these, which is just terrific, and I will certainly keep that with a lot of pride and pleasure. But that also has a dual task, doesn't it? Apart from That's looking right. good, oh, yes. I it's your horse, in. isn't it? I go up to kids in the street and I say, Sunday, I want to hear a little adventure, and I put it up to their ear and I go, that's wonderful. No, 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 no. And right off again for us. <laughs> Just right off again for us. All right, here we go. Up first. He's in the museum now. And I'll be joining them shortly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Smokey. Thank you, Doc, for being here. Right. For your anniversary, just a, a small memento of your time here on GMA. Some wine and some flowers for you. Love you both. Please thank Doc and Smokey Boss. A riding, riding. Lovely and thing, sir. Underneath the southern sky. Come on, sing it. A riding, riding a riding. Happy on the trail, am I in the wrong key? Yes, right. Riding, <laughs> I'm in the wrong key. Oh, you yeah, try it out. Riding, a riding. Underneath the southern sky. I'm riding, riding I'm a riding. riding. On the trail, am I? Just want to make one point, Smokey. The only sensible person here is Dot. She hasn't joined in. <laughs> Please take me again. Dot and Smokey do it. Great to have you both here. And look for the CD. It is just wonderful, wonderful memories for those of us who go back that far. And for the, the newer folk around, you'll be able to rejoin with us. Some great days on Australian radio.